Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Damn Them All number one from Boom Studios. Uh, very cool. I'm so glad I got to read this early uh, because I had not read a story with uh, with Adelard Art in a long time since The Walking Dead. So I'm very glad to see he's on a new book. So speaking of that, let's check out the creators. So this is written by Cy Sperrier with illustrations by Charlie Adelard. Colors by Sophie, Sophie Dodson, and with assist by Shane Hanakui. Letters by Jim Campbell. Damn Them All was created by Science Barrier and Charlie Adelard. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, look at this powerhouse of a team that we have behind this book. Uh, so, yeah, legendary Walking Dead artist Charlie Adelard teams up with Step by Bloody Step scribe Simon Sperrier to introduce your new favorite occult hero since... Uh, or anti-hero since John Constantine. Definitely get a lot of those vibes here. Um, funny enough, we just read for one of our local book clubs, we just read Cy Sperrier's uh, Constantine. So that was all very much in the back of my head as I was reading this. Um, so yeah, in this new dark supernatural thriller for fans of things like We Have Demons and Something is Killing the Children, meet Ellie, Bloody L, Hawthorne, Occultist for Hire. Following the death of Ellie's uncles, an infamous magician in the occult and detective, uh, the seventy-two devils, uh, the the seventy-two devils of Ars Gotia, are mysteriously freed from their infernal realm. It is now up to Ellie to track down each one of these exiled demons and damn them right back to hell by any means necessary. Holy water, conjuration, or just a trusty old hammer. Uh, yeah, this book was very exciting. Um, before I take, I show you guys a little bit of the preview art. Uh, there's only one thing that that kind of, I guess, this would be my one grievance in the book, and I'll get out of the way early because you know we try to look at the positive things. But uh, there, there's a little bit of slang here. There's a few terms of the like that are not used in regular English, especially me being uh, somebody whose English is a second language. Uh, that made it a little bit difficult to read the book. Uh, because it's very, there's some expressions and things that maybe they don't, it's a little localized to the speech, which I appreciate. I love that the, the creators are using, you know, specific uh, things from a region because it definitely sets the mood. Uh, it was just made it a little bit difficult to read uh, for someone who, although I'm proficient in reading English, uh, sometimes there are a few things that kind of get in the way. But that being said, let's go check out some preview art because here comes some of the praise for this book. Uh, first of all, Charlie Adelar's art, it's fantastic. I, it, It's interesting to see it uh, in color, right? Because uh, although I haven't, I have checked out a few of the Walking Dead color deluxe issues that, that are in color now, but I, it's been a long time since I've seen uh, Charlie's art in color. So that's very interesting, but I love it. I love the detail. I love, it looks very grimy. Uh, and, and even then with the lettering just also makes it, it mixes in there too. The lettering's not like super well defined. We have a lot of uh, the use of lower caps for the narration. I find that very interesting uh, because lower caps are also, I think, more difficult to read. Uh, but it all adds to the pacing of the book, right? You really have to pay attention to the details. Uh, and I love revisiting Elle's uh, past throughout this and the relationship with her uncle. Uh, and then just the design of some of the things that are being conjured up. Really cool stuff. Then we get to see the funeral for Uncle Alfie. And I just really, like, look at this big shot. This establishing shot. I love it. This is a this is a trick that I love when artists do properly. Because once you give us an establishing shot, you can really zoom in on the rest of the shots. Because we will fill in the rest of the backgrounds in our mind, right? Uh, because now we know we're at a funeral. We're outdoors. There's a, The weather is overcast or even you know, close to rain. Uh, so that really sets the tone for the next few panels. So yeah, Adelard, fantastic work there. So I really enjoy this. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to keep reading this. Uh, I love what Boom's been doing recently with a lot of books. This is definitely one of them. This book also has some really fantastic variant covers, which I hope to get. And I hope to get some in foil because uh, Boom's been doing some really cool foil things too. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, let me know what you think of this uh, issue. Uh, and the story overall, let us know if you read that Constantine run that I talked about earlier. And as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.